Hello everyone. Now let us solve some problems on the previous topic. Before going to the problem, whenever I am discussing the problem, pause the video and solve the problem. Compare your solution with my solution. If you do like this way, you are your one time preparation is completed. Now read the question. So what is the given question? Find the resistance of a copper wire with hundred meters long and fifty. millimeter square in cross section that is area so the resistivity of the copper is 1.72 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter first write down the given data so length of the wire is 100 meters cross section area is equal to that is 50 millimeter square convert this into meter square so here 50 mm square we can write it as mm into mm for 1 mm it is 10 power minus 3 meters and this is 10 power minus 3 meters so 10 power minus 3 into 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 6 so what is the combined value 50 into 10 power minus 6 meter square next one rho is given Rho that is resistivity of copper wire, one point seven two into ten power minus eight ohm meter. Okay, now what is the formula for resistance? Resistance R is equal to rho L by A. Substitute all these value in this equation. So what is the rho? One point seven two into ten power minus eight into what is the length? Hundred divided by So what is the area? Fifty into ten power minus six. Okay. If you solve this value, R is equal to you will get zero point zero three four four ohms. This can be written as thirty four point four milli ohms. Okay. Next question is. A copper coil has five thousand tons and <clears throat> cross section area of point four mm square. The mean length per ton is hundred meters. Then calculate the resistance of coil. Resistivity of the coil is given. That is, resistivity of copper is one point seven two into ten power minus eight ohm meter. Okay, write down the given data. So, what is the given data? Number of tons is equal to Five thousand cross section area is given that is zero point four mm square. Convert this into meter square. How much we are getting? Zero point four into ten power minus six meter square. So what is the next parameter? Mean length per turn. So that is length per turn is given. How much it is? Hundred. So what is the total length? Length is equal to so number of turns into length per turn. How much? Five thousand into hundred. You will get five into ten power five meters. Okay. And resistivity is given. Rho is equal to one point seven two into ten power minus eight ohm meter. So what is the resistance formula? R is equal to Rho L by A. So re resistivity one point seven two into ten power minus eight into what is the length five into ten power five divided by. So what is the area? This one zero point four into ten power minus six. If you solve this. You will get resistance is two one five double zero ohms, or twenty one point five kilo ohms. Next question is: Resistance of a conducting wire is ten ohms. Find the resistance of another wire, but same material, having half of the diameter and two times of the length. First, write down the given data. So, resistance of a 
wire is given that is 10 ohms let it be r1 next one find the resistance of another wire but same material same material means resistivity is constant on next one having half of the diameter so diameter is given so d2 is equal to d1 by 2 from this what is the radius radius is r2 is equal to r1 by 2 okay from this calculate the area area of the conductor is is equal to pi r square so first conductor is let it be a1 second conductor is a2 is equal to pi r2 square so what is r2 r1 by 2 substitute value here pi into r1 by 2 whole square you will get pi r1 square by 4 next one length length is equal to 2 times of the previous value that is 2 times of the length 2l1 ok now write the formula so what is the formula resistance r is equal to rho l by a here r resistivity is constant you can write it as r is directly proportional to l2 by sorry l by a r is directly proportional to l by a so r2 by r1 is equal to l2 by l1 into a1 by a2 so what is r1 r2 by 10 is equal to l2 is 2l1 by l1 into what is area 1 pi r1 square what is area 2 pi r1 square divided by 4 so this l1 this l1 gets cancelled pi r1 square pi r1 square gets cancelled so what is the r2 value r2 is equal to 2 into 4 8 8 into 10 80 80 ohms 400 meter long copper wire has a cross sectional area of 3. Point, sorry 5.375 millimeter square and resistivity of the copper is 1.72 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter okay now first question is then find the resistance of the copper wire second question is if the resistance is find at 20 degree centigrade then find the resistance at 0 degree centigrade and 100 degree centigrade first write down the given data length of the wire is given so l is equal to 400 meters next one cross sectional area is given a is equal to 5.375 mm square okay convert this into meter square so 5.375 into 10 power minus 6 meter square next one resistivity of the copper is given that is rho is equal to 1.72 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter so what is the first question find the resistance of the copper wire so resistance of the copper wire r is equal to <coughs> rho l by a substitute all these values in this equation so 1.72 into 10 power minus 8 into what is L 400 divided by what is A 5.375 into 10 power minus 6 ok if you solve this equation you will get resistance value 1.28 ohms ok now question number 2 so previous resistance 1.28 ohms it is at 20 degree centigrade ok now find the resistance at t is equal to 0 degree centigrade comma t is equal to 100 degree centigrade what is the formula regarding temperature dependence so r nu is equal to r naught into 1 plus alpha into delta t ok here alpha is temperature coefficient here it is not given actually for the copper 
it is 0 0.00393 at 20 degree centigrade okay now substitute these values so r nu is equal to 1.28 into 1 plus 0 0.00393 into t1 minus t2 so what is the t1 here 0 minus 20 so if you solve this value you will get 1.18 ohms ok now at 100 degree centigrade r nu is equal to <coughs> 1.28 into 1 plus 0 0.00393 into 100 minus 20 so if you solve this you will get our new value 1.6824 ohms or new value ok if you observe here if temperature is decreases resistance is decreases so here 1.28 ohms previously that is at 20 degrees centigrade if temperature is decreased to 0 degrees resistance is decreases if temperature is increases so temperature is resistance also increases previously 1.28 now it is 1.68 next question the current flowing through the 80 ohm resistor is 4 amps then find the power dissipated in the resistor so what is the given data current i is equal 4 amps resistance r is equal to 80 ohms find the power dissipated in the resistor so formula for power is p is equal to v i r v square by r r i square r we know here current and resistance so p is equal to i square r so what is the i value 4 square into 80 so what is the power dissipated in the resistor 1 to 80 watts this can be written as 1.28 kilowatt 